Hey guys, Omni here. Before we get into the video, I want to let you know that I've got some links down in the description of the video just to some places that can help you show your support for the Black Lives Matter movement. And I hope you take some time out of your day to check those out. But we are here today as the, what was supposed to be, I think like a week or two ago, the PlayStation 5 live event was supposed to happen. It got postponed because rightfully so with everything going on in the world. And they finally held it today and we got a couple of gems. I'm going to cover at least two of them that I know of right now, one of which that we're talking about in this video, we got an official reveal trailer for Resident Evil 8. Codename Village? Uh, I mean, the emblem, the icon, the thumbnail says Village Resident Evil. I don't know. Looks like another first-person romp. I really did enjoy what they did with Resident Evil 7, despite how short it was. It was a really fun game. It, was, it felt Resident Evil while still having some of those fresh first person elements which were kind of new to the series with that entry i've played every entry in this franchise and i am looking forward to the next step and see where we go is this going to pick up right after resident evil 7 is this going to be some other kind of spinoff i'm really excited to see what happens with this but anyway let's go ahead and check out the trailer and see what we have and here we go his story comes to a close. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? Hmm. It's just a <clears throat> local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No! Oh! Oh, <laughs> what is that? It looked fleshy, not like mold or anything. Dude, it looks gorgeous. What was that? Whoa. Is that a wolf man? This gives me some very heavy RE4 vibes. Ah, uh, I like that. I like that. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Oh, it, it's Ethan? Why? What the fuck was that? Oh, wow. Okay. So we're picking up with Ethan. After he was rescued by Chris, with Chris, with yet another redesign? I mean, he looks different from what I remember in RE7, which is different than he's looked in a long time. Chris has the most, like, variations in his appearance. It's interesting. Um, was that Mia? That was her name, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. The creatures, at least from the quick glimpse we got, they definitely weren't mold. I'm curious at what, at what this is going to be. And then you had like that one image there where it kind of lingered on the guy like doing this like wolfman roar. He even had a little bit of a snout going on. 
Are we going to have some more kind of creature experimentation? Maybe not so much a virus, maybe not so much a parasite. Is this going to be something new? Maybe. Is it going to be Umbrella still? Something else? Um, there's a couple of hints to some things at the end of 7 after you go through all the DLCs, the other journeys, Chris's bit, um, that honestly, I don't remember enough of it because I played through that game pretty much to completion within a week of getting it. Uh, and I don't remember anything. I haven't touched it since. I've played the remake since. And again, it, it looks like they're still running this off of the same engine. I could be wrong. I'm not sure if they even got to talk a little bit more about what this game is going to be about between this, between showing this, maybe before or after this trailer came out, or if it was just the trailer reveal. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments, because the article I saw on there didn't really go into anything aside from this being a return to first-person shooters, picking up after uh, uh, d -d 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 Resident Evil 7. That was it. So it looks good. And I like the setting a lot. I love the rural aspect of it, this village kind of aesthetic. Then kind of mixed again with the castles and all that. Again, just kind of echoing that RE4 vibe. Is that in the same region? Is this somewhere else? Where is this set? Where is this village happening? There's some hints to some Victorian type uh, attire and settings. A little bit of a mansion-y looking area as well. I don't know. I really like the first person bit on it. I do have my preference for the third person over the shoulder kind of view um, that we've seen that has been the staple of Resident Evil pretty much from the beginning with Resident Evil 7 being the key one to drive it up into, you know, the first person, giving it to the first one to got, kind of dive into that level of immersion. Again, I like that they're repeating that with Ethan yet again. Um, and I'm just curious how we pick back up and how he gets sucked into this whole thing again because he was just some guy who happened to be in a relationship married or whatever with mia who was part of this uh, laboratory experiment on that ship uh, outside the bayou that affected the uh, the family that is the primary antagonist for the majority of resident evil 7 how is he getting roped back into this I'm really curious to see how that pans out, what goes down that road. It looks great. I'm hyped up. Um, I think Capcom is doing a really solid job at reinventing and refreshing and also at the same time making these more recent Resident Evil games feel like classic Resident Evil, even though we're getting a nice new shine and polish on it, some different approaches to the gameplay it still very much has that vibe and feeling that we associate with Resident Evil's 1 through 3 and even 4, and while taking that back into play, I really like it. I hope it's a, lot, a little bit longer than 7, because 7, as much as I loved it, my first playthrough, I beat that game in 4 hours. And then you had the DLCs that came afterwards, kind of filling in a little bit more of that time. Resident Evil 2, though, I think has been the most bang for its buck since uh, out of their recent runs. Not to say that uh, the other games aren't good. They're very good. They're very well made. It's just, uh, you know, I wouldn't say they're $60 well made, but I, I love them. I support them. I've reviewed each one of them, um, and I can't wait to check this out. I will definitely be streaming this game. Resident Evil is one of those franchises that I will pick up. Because every now and then, like, you know, there's, there's games that come out. I, I bought Doom Eternal. I still have yet to actually commit and stream it or play it at all. I've downloaded it and installed it, but I haven't touched it yet. Re uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. You know, of course, I, I, I got a lot of balancing of time I have to do, and fortunately, Doom Eternal hasn't come around yet. I did play through Doom 2016 in preparation for that, but... Final Fantasy VII Remake came out and completely absorbed all of that time. And honestly, since I finished my 100%ing of that game, I actually haven't been on Twitch since. So <laughs> that's on me. Uh, for games like this, games I, I'm passionate about, especially Doom, I'm really new to. I just saw you know, this got kind of drawn in with Doom Eternal, and I thought it looked great. Um, I had played some of the older Dooms, but not like deeply. Um, so I decided to go in, you know, visit this reboot with uh, Doom 2016 and then get into that path or whatever. But Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, 
those are hallmarks. Halo even are hallmarks of games that I will 100% dive headfirst into and commit to. I will be here for this. You will guys, when this, when this comes out, you will know where to find me and I will be playing it. And I will probably even share those uh, playthroughs here on the channel as well, like I did with RE3, as well as Final Fantasy VII. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be looking forward to see what the next trailers bring to this. So what do you guys think of everything we saw in this trailer? What are your ideas, your theories, your speculations on what is happening, how Ethan's involved, the context to Chris? Is that maybe a dream? Is that actually something happened with him just pop, 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 double, triple tapping? Uh, what I can only tell, it was an odd angle, but I it was, was that her? I don't know. Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll carry on the conversation after the video. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.